Morpheus appears in the Matrix Resurrections, but it's not the real Morpheus played by Lawrence Fishburne from the first three movies. This time it's played by Yahya abdul II, who isn't the real Morpheus. He's a programmed version of the character created by Thomas Anderson to awaken him from this new Matrix. But in the Resurrections film, we get to find out that the real Morpheus is dead, but we never got to see how. But my question is, is the real Morpheus actually dead? What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm your host The Viking and make sure you subscribe for a brand new Matrix video every single day on the channel. But Morpheus appeared in Matrix Resurrections but it wasn't Lawrence Fishburne who made the character iconic. This time Yahya abdul Mantine II took over the role and he did a fine job but if you've watched the film you will know it's not the real Morpheus. The Morpheus we get to see in Resurrections is a program created by Thomas Anderson with a mixture of Agent Smith and Morpheus. And the reason being for this is because if you go back to the original trilogy, the reason Keanu Reeves as Thomas Anderson becomes the one, becomes Neo, is because of Morpheus awaking him and of the rivalry between Agent Smith where Neo was able to discover his powers. So in this Matrix, Thomas Anderson feels that everything is not right, and the games that he has created might have actually happened to him. And we get to see in the movie that Morpheus himself has parallels to Thomas Anderson within this new Matrix. They're both living the same day over and over again, and they know that something is not right. They're running on the treadmill, they're going to the same cafe, they have the same routine until Morpheus awakens and he meets Bugs, and then they search for Thomas Anderson, aka Neo. And Morpheus is the one in the Matrix Resurrections and the previous trilogy to awaken Thomas Anderson. But the question is, if Yahya abdul Mantine II was not playing the real Morpheus, but a programmed version, then where is Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus? Where is the real Morpheus, and is he actually dead? Because when Thomas Anderson awakens and he becomes Neo again and ends up in the real world, Niobe explains that... Oracle was sending messages that something bad was coming and Morpheus would not believe it. He thought the war ended when Neo made the truce with the machines and he did not listen. And it led to his demise and the demise of Zion. But we never got to see how Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus died. In Io, they have a brand new statue built in the memory of Lawrence Fishburne as the character. So did he actually die? Now the big movie trope is, if you didn't see a character die on screen, then they never really died. So you're probably thinking to yourself, then he's alive, we just haven't seen him die, so that means he's still out there. Well what if I told you that we actually have seen Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus die on screen? This comes from GameRevolution.com. Matrix Resurrections. Is the original Morpheus dead? Matrix Resurrections takes place after the events of the original trilogy, in which main character Morpheus helped defend the last human city from the machines. He survived that fight, and so many fans might be expecting to see him again played by Lawrence Fishburne in Matrix 4 or future installments. 
Yes, it's likely that the original Morpheus is dead in the Matrix Resurrections. With the Matrix Online game, in which Morpheus died being considered canon, it makes sense that he is dead in the Matrix Resurrections. Though his death isn't explicitly mentioned, a statue of the original Morpheus is shown during Neo's visit to Io. Even if Morpheus' death in Matrix Online wasn't considered canon, 60 years have passed since the events of Matrix Revolutions, though Niobe has survived and achieved the rank of General. Morpheus may have died of illness or old age. A statue of Morpheus is shown in one of the rooms of Io, where many other dead humans have been laid to rest. This suggests Morpheus is also dead. How did the original Morpheus die? Morpheus is dead in Matrix Resurrections because he died in the Matrix Online game, which is considered canon. Though many won't have played the Matrix Online game, the creators of the Matrix confirmed that it is canon. Morpheus dies at the hand of an assassin who ambushes Morpheus while he's escaping a treatment facility. He dies from a gunshot. What's interesting about this is whether or not this game is actually canon to the Matrix Resurrections and the future installments of the Matrix. The creators have said that it is canon. Now, I think that Morpheus dying in this game is canon, but if we were to explore it further in a prequel or spin-off or in Matrix 5, I think the way he died would be different than what we got to see in the game. But I 100% believe Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus is dead. How did he die? Well, that could be changed or it could be the same as this game. The Matrix Online game was kind of revolutionary in its own time as well when it came out. It doesn't really hold up that much in terms of the effects. and It looks poor compared to games nowadays. But at the time, it was a pretty interesting and fun and new game. It really was. And the reason Morpheus was kind of the lead of this game, or he had a storyline, was because he was very upset at the machines, because at the end of the third Matrix movies, we got to see the truce. But the machines never brought Neo's body back to Zion. They kept it for themselves, which we get to see in the Matrix Resurrections, was taken by the analyst, and that gives us the plot of the Matrix Resurrections. But in the Matrix Online game, Morpheus went on a mission to find out exactly where is Neo's body so he could bring it back to Zion and give him a proper burial. But did the writers of the Matrix Resurrections want to bring Lawrence Fishburne back? I did a video a few days ago on the channel about how Hugo Weaving, who played Agent Smith in the original three movies, was in the mind of the writers to return for Resurrections. They wrote the script with him in mind, but he couldn't be in the film over scheduling conflicts, and John Groff took over. But did the writers write The Matrix Resurrections with Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus in mind? This comes from the writer of The Matrix Resurrections, and this is what he had to say. This writer's name is Alexander Heeman. A new Morpheus was there from the beginning. We knew that Keanu Reeves and Carrie Moss would be involved. Without them, this would not have been possible. But the other thing, during my brief career in the movies, I've learned that moviegoing is a world of contingency. And so people might or not, you know, sign on. If they sign on, some things may change. So we did write some roles. I'm not going to give it away, but we wrote a character for someone we thought would play it, and then it was not possible. And so, still, we didn't change anything radically. But we were just imagining this actor in the role. And then it turned out that it was not possible. But we didn't change any lines with that. So that actor is still inscribed in the role. And the character and the actor that this writer is talking about is Hugo Weaving as Agent Smith. They wrote it with him in mind, but he couldn't be in it. But nothing really changed in terms of the script. But he says here that a new Morpheus was there from the beginning. So they never planned, Lana Wachowski, the writers never planned to bring Lawrence Fishburne back at all. And Lawrence Fishburne was doing interviews recently for other projects and he said that he was never contacted to return and he sounded a little bit disappointed. 
But if the Matrix Online game is canon to the creators of the Matrix franchise, the Wachowskis, then it would make sense why Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus was not in Resurrections and why the character is dead and why there is a statue of him in Io. He died, he was assassinated, he was ambushed, he was shot. Now, if they explore this further, I think his death is canon, but they might change how he died. In a way, it's a little bit of a disappointment that Lawrence Fishburne didn't get to return because he is brilliant in the role, even though Yaya abdul Mateen II did a fantastic job. But it's also fascinating that the writers and the creators of The Matrix consider the games that came before canon. We've had the Path of Neo game, we've had Matrix Online, we've had Matrix Awakens. And those games are kind of canon to what the Matrix movies lay down in terms of lore. And that's pretty fascinating for a franchise to do that. So if you really want to dive deep into the Matrix lore, then you should watch the four movies and probably play the three games. So in Matrix 5 or 6, we could get more information about Morpheus and how he died. They might change it, of course, or they might keep it the same, but we also could get information about the other Matrix games. But if the games are canon to the films, are the comic books canon as well? Definitely take a deep dive into the comic books if you can, because they're very fascinating, and I'll probably do some videos on the channel about them too. But there's also the Animatrix movie that is probably canon to what the Wachowskis consider to be in the Matrix universe as well. I think it's pretty cool that Lana Wachowski would take everything that was associated to the Matrix, whether it's comics or games or whatever it is, and it's part of this overall Matrix story. Because with these huge franchises, when they make a sequel years after, they try to bring everybody back because... It's what people know. It's cool for the marketing. It's better for the film if the original cast show up. Here, it was very different. The only cast members from the original three movies that showed up was Carrie Ann Moss, Keanu Reeves, and Jada Pinkett Smith. If this was a different franchise, Lawrence Fishburne would have 100% showed up. So would have Hugo Weaving. But the Matrix franchise isn't trying to be every other franchise. It wants to stand out, it wants to be unique, and it tells an overall story that doesn't contradict itself, no matter if it's a comic book, no matter if it's a video game, or whatever. It's all important to this story, and I find it very beautiful how the Wachowskis consider everything to be canon to the Matrix and the story that they tell going forward. So if Matrix 5 happens, or Matrix 6 happens, or a new game is made, or a new comic book, we should consider that canon to the overall Matrix universe. It's kind of interesting in a way as well because audiences, average movie goers, even myself who's big into movies and the Matrix universe, I haven't played all the games, I haven't read all the comic books, either have average movie goers, so how were we supposed to know what happened to Morpheus? It's just kind of a way for me to go and explore that universe further. It's a way for people, if you're really interested in the Matrix, learn everything about it. So. I can understand why some people didn't like it because they want to know what happened to Morpheus and I can understand why some people think he's actually still alive because we didn't see him die because in movies if you don't see the character die then they're still alive. But this isn't any other movie or franchise. It's The Matrix. But guys what's your thoughts on this? The Matrix online game and the death of Morpheus being canon to the live action movies and that's how he died prior to the events of The Matrix Resurrections. Do you like this? Do you hate it? Do you want to see Lawrence Fishburne return? Make sure you let me know below because I'm very interested to hear your thoughts about this one. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Brand new Matrix videos hit this channel every single day. So if you're a fan, then subscribe so you don't miss out. Guys, thanks very much for watching. If you have a video suggestion, a topic for the channel to do on the Matrix, on the games, the comics, the movies, or everything related, then put it into the comment section below, and I will make a special video about that, of course, and give you credit for that as well, because I appreciate you watching and commenting on the videos. Guys, I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Thanks very much again. Enjoy your night, day, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world.